Welcome back to the show. Well, we all love having art in our homes. There's no doubt about it, but how do we hang it properly? What should we buy? Where should we put it? How are we going to hang it? Well, we've got the answers for you because joining us is Susan Phillips. Susan, welcome to the show. It's great to have you here. Good to see you. And I think this is something a lot of us struggle with. I mean, TL and I said it in the intro. We probably have pictures at our house, homes and artwork that aren't hung properly. We might not even chosen the right ones. And that's what we want to start off with, the what. The what. Okay. Right? Buy something you love. Get right. something that you love or, or, or frame some, a photograph that you love. Mix it up. Have lots of different kinds of art in your home. It doesn't have to be uh, necessarily art like this one. It can be photographs and it can be any... So don't necessarily load up on things because the, because the artist happens to be renowned. Right. You have to love it. You have to love it. Because you're going to look at it all the time, right? Because you're going to look at it all the right. time. This is called a triptych. That, that's three pictures that are sort of blend into each other. Okay. There's, it looks like one picture, but you can actually sort of part them. And the, the, a diptych is, is two pictures, okay? So triptych and a diptych. And a diptych. We're smiling at each other because TL has this very thing That's at right. her house. We call it the TL. Mm -hmm. The TL. Here, okay. yeah. This is a miniature. This was painted by Elsie Campbell, who's from Carlton Place, a local okay. uh, artist. Beautiful. And she paints art that's got a texture to it. Yeah. And I it's love gorgeous. I love the, um, when I'm doing a home, when I'm staging a home, I love the texture in, in this, especially if you have a leather couch and, and a shiny coffee table and shiny walls and and you, everything is smooth and then you put some artwork in that's got a texture it's nice. gorgeous Good so I, what I did was ask her to do me three paintings that were miniatures of the big ones that, okay. we, that she has which are 40 inches by um, 30 inches or 48 by 30 or something like that right so they're huge um, so these were uh, miniature paintings but the reason um, I brought them in and I brought in a landscape too is because I wanted want to, to talk about if you have a small area you, a landscape, or in this case, it's a seascape. This is also by Elsie. They, it, it gives the illusion of making the room a little larger because your eye is taken into the picture. So right. if you have a oh. small area, put up a, a, a landscape or a seascape to take your eye into the area. Okay, good to hear. So when you have, when you have um, abstract art like this, it tends to make the room look cozier. So if you have a really lofty room, a really cavernous room, having artwork that is uh, an abstract brings the room in or makes the room feel more cozy. Right. Susan, if uh, you mentioned that this artist does these uh, types of, in, in large, yes, large, that's right. now would the, would the same thing ring true? If this was a great big one, Yes. Would it do the same thing as this seascape? No, it wouldn't, wouldn't make the room look. No, it wouldn't make the room look larger. Okay. See, so it's not the any, size of the painting. No, it's, it's what to it do, is. That's right. So okay. anything that takes your eye into the painting will make the room appear larger. It's like a mirror. You know, okay. it's, it's taking your eye into it. Uh, whereas anything that's on the surface will make okay. the room feel more cozy and intimate. Okay. So now we know what to choose. And, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, yeah. is the important thing, but where to put it. That's the other issue okay, we want so, to talk about, right? So the, the rule of thumb is is to put paintings on a wall that is about three, if you've got a small wall, a, a small wall, mm -hmm. you put the paintings about two thirds, three quarters of the size of that space. Okay. Um, if you're pe putting a painting over the top of a, a chest of drawers or, or over a couch, you want sort of two fist height above the couch, okay. or above the, the uh, chest of drawers. Um, if you're and, and again, you want it three quarters of the size, um, taking up three quarters of the size of the piece underneath it. Well, you've brought some days. images, right, that demonstrate I what do, you're talking I do. about. So if we Why don't we bring, bring up, up the first one and first Susan image, can explain? Yeah. So this room here, it, the, the painting over the fireplace is a little small because it's less than three quarters. That would be much more pronounced if it were a larger painting. Okay. Okay. The, the paint, the pictures over the the chair on the right. They are uh, positioned correctly, but again, they are taking up a little bit too much room. So that is really a little bit too large. But okay. In, but in the um, number two, if all right. You, let's go to the next if you one. Go to the, the second one. This painting is put. This is also by R.C. and she painted that to match the bedspread, so that oh, it would yeah. pull it all yeah. together. Very nice. And the art there is 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 sized to the headboard. Yeah, so the, that you can see that's the three quarters that's of right. the headboard and there, And that right? is a good size. Okay. And in the final one, that the, um, in the other picture that I brought in, you can see that there's a couch there. Again, they put two pictures, so they've taken up the same amount of real estate in right. terms of the two-thirds, three-quarter rule, um, but they've used two paintings there. And over the, over the 
the um, little table, table? The little table, perfect sizing, perfect sizing. Okay. okay. Now, so if you have a wall with nothing beneath it, then the rule of thumb is 60 inches to the center of the painting. So if the, if the center of the painting is here, 60 inches to the floor. 60 really? inches to which the is, floor. Which is okay. ideal. When you're, when you're um, staging a home, that is the ideal height. So you take the, the center of the painting here, you measure 60 inches to the floor, and you place the painting, and that's eye level. Okay. Okay. So, um, so that's if it's bare, though. That's if you're a bare wall. Mm -hmm. If you're um, living in the house and you're not t selling, then and you're taller, um, you may want to lift it up about five or six inches. Okay. okay. But you wouldn't want to l lower it. And the reason you don't want it any higher is because it makes the ceiling come down on you. It makes the ceiling look lower. Oh, okay, yeah, I can see that. It must yeah. be very important to you to consider the size of the painting in that case as well, because if you've got some great big uh, room, you know, with a great big wall, a lot of these cathedral, right. you know, types of things now, you must really want to have a nice substantial piece of artwork, That's right. you know, placed just perfectly. But, but even then, you still have it at 60 or 65. Mm -hmm. um, uh, inches from the center of the painting to the floor. If you have it any any higher, um, it makes the ceiling look low. And if you have it any lower, then there's this sort of expanse of wall above it that makes you feel like munchkins in in the room. Right. So, Let's quickly just yeah. go through some of the tools okay. that you should be. So the that tools you that you have. need is a level. Um, here we've got some hooks. I've got my hammer and I've got my ruler here. How much okay. time do we have? So thirty seconds less. So <laughs> less we've got. So you, you measure, you, you, you put this on and a pencil. So you put this on the wall where you want it. You mark right. a little pencil mark. Mm -hmm. where okay. You then turn the painting around. You pull the, the tape measure from the string up to the end. That's two inches. Mm -hmm. You measure two inches down from that little mark you put on the wall. Right. And you put your hook at that mark. Not, at the two inches. Not the yeah, nail. that's clever Down. because not a lot of nail. people will forget that little yeah. give so that the, the wire or the rope right. gives. That's right. So you put this on, on the mark that you've, that you've put on the wall. This hook is where you put your string, not the nail. Okay. It's right. really okay. important to know. Gotcha. Good to right. know. That's Excellent great, tips Susan. as usual, Susan. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank really you. appreciate Thank it. Thank you very much. If you want to get in touch with Susan, you can tr visit www.spotlightondecor.com. Listen, up next, we're talking a little science. We're making ice cream in minutes, and we're going to introduce you to an underwater robot right after this.